Hey Alesis, we love the Strike Pro. However, we want to see some updates in 1.4. So, to make it possible, I asked around on the Facebook group of the Strike Pro owners uh, to collect all the things that they would like to see, and here's a breakdown of it. One of the most requested features is a longer recording time. Well, we just want no limits. Lucas Carter says, internal recording with no time limit, or a larger one, maybe 10 minutes and the ability to export a track with or without the aux part in it. And that would be something. So please allow us a longer time recording and yeah, just set it to no limit. You know, if it's full, it's full, just save it and then we can export it or do some stuff with it that we want. The second most requested feature is deleting user kits. And Eric French says definitely the ability to delete user kits from the module. It's silly that this isn't a feature and it's a pain in the ass to have to take out the SD card and do it on my computer. Which we all agree about and yeah, make it easy. Please. So the next one is a little bit sensitive because it's about the Hyatt. A lot of people had issues with how the Hyatt functions and they have found their own solutions, which is great. Um, a little bit more feedback on how to set up the Hyatt. That would be great because now if we just use the module and it says uh, recalibrate, it doesn't actually tell us how the recalibration function works. So for an example, I needed to go uh, on YouTube to check a tutorial uh, by a guy who I don't know, but I was really grateful. And he showed how to do this whole Hyatt setup recalibration. Now, if the module would just say, you are about to calibrate the Hyatt, do this, do this, do this, do this, and it will be calibrated, that would be great. So a second one for the user kits is rearrange the order that the user kits are displayed in. Because now when we save a user kit, it's just going to be added to the list and we want to shift them around the way we like to. And it was provided by, but let's see, William Oliver. Yeah. Hey William. Andrew Tyler says more data feedback in a trigger setup, particularly the Hyatt Lighter <coughs> modules. April Gray says, yes, it would be good to see velocity levels for the pads. Here's a good one by Daryl Zimianski. An auto power off function when not in use for a while, like a half hour. Seems trivial. All my previous eDrums had this feature. Ah, he can be absent minded and would like to avoid leaving the module on all night. Here's one from Vigos Bruta. I don't know if I say it correctly, but. Vigas Bruta. He says the ability to split symbols. It should work, but it doesn't. Splitting symbols. Should be possible, but we want to know why not. And actually, we just want to have a fix for it. So please provide that. Also from Vigas Bruta. He says to make the navigation process easier when creating user kits. And in general, I would like to make a note. The navigation process in the strike is a little bit weird. Um, because sometimes I, I'm, I'm in the menu yeah, and I'm just trying to do some things. Now, a lot of times the, the screen is divided in two. So for example, I'm loading an instrument and on the left side I have my instruments, uh, the, the, the file folder and on the right side I have the individual instruments. So if I want to switch to the left in the less amount of steps, then I can't because now I need to go down and left and I want to go left and down. Such simple things could be a lot easier. Think of the shortest way to get us somewhere in the menu. And if you could check the whole menu for that, man, it would be really great. Also he says, I would like the ability to delete samples and of course the whole kits. Ah, and he makes a good point. Alesis can also provide a download link on their page to be able to restore them if needed. So, hey, that's a little bit service you can offer. That's good. <laughs> and then he says, I want all those stupid bibbity pipity boopity sounds gone from my module. I will never use them, but I always have to navigate through them. I can see where he's coming from. Yeah, 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 yeah. you know, Betty Boop Boop, nah. Danny Bozart says, easy way to delete layer B if needed. And then Kevin Head says, like the layer button be an on and off switch. That would be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. Just punch it and it's gone. 
Tyler Patterson says the ability to store and playback mp3 files like the free ones they give you useful for backing tracks when playing live too even my entry level <coughs> had this feature ah come on guys we all love all the drum sets we all love the other brands as well so yeah <laughs> i needed to make a joke this is a good one from joss anderson the ability to group zones on a specific pad instead of having to change zones independently for example changing the ride or a crash sound as an entire crash or ride especially for a ride so you can do a demo uh, with the entire symbol without taking so much time to switch every zone just to find out you don't like it so for example I'm seeing a brand name like Zildjian and it has a ride and I punch the ride and then the whole symbol becomes a ride. That would be good. Maybe a demo button. So just when we when we push the demo button it will load it as a demo on the symbol and then later on we can switch to the individual samples on the individual zones if we would like to by not using the demo button or something like that. He also says Highlight only samples that are available that will fit the 200 megabyte limit. For example, if you are making a kit, when you get nearer to maxing out 170 uh, megabytes, the module will only show available samples that will fit and be usable, or darken the ones that will not be available or will fit. It seems like an obvious thing to do. Lucas Rochelle says, copy an instrument between kits. Now I want to add a note to that. Let's say, for example, I've made my complete user kit and I've applied uh, everything that I did in my compression tutorial to it. So my, my, you know, my drum kit sounds the way that I want and the settings that it has also are the way that I want it. Now, imagine I'm starting a new user kit. What I would like to see is to make a settings uh, save option for the whole freaking kit. When I start to make my own new user kit, I can simply select my Ronnie compression tutorial setup and I just load that in and it applies it to the whole kit and boom, I don't have to do anything because it, you know, it, it, I want the same setting on the whole drums when it comes to that. And maybe I want to fine tune specific things later on, which takes a lot less time than doing the whole thing over and over and over and over again. Complete drum kit settings to be copied and pasted on another drum set, but also individual. So let's say we have a, a snare, we have set it up the way that we want, we go into another kit and we just make a copy paste option. So copy here, paste there, save, everybody's happy. Uh, the, the compression now is on a total kit and what I would like to see for myself is that I can uh, fine-tune for individual instruments. So let's say I have the snare, now I can only choose to, to push the snare into the compression by setting it on and off. And I would like to see a knob below it in how much compression I do for the snare. So how much of the snare will I push into the compression? That would be awesome please make it possible. I have another personal request and that is, I'm, I'm a studio recorder, so I make my music with my PC, with the whole drum kit. Now imagine I'm uh, building a track, I have my metronome coming from the computer, so not from the drum kit. Um, at this point I'm using a mixer that is on the ground and everything goes into the computer, it comes back to the mixer and I listen back to it from this mixer on the headset. Now. What I would love to do is to just use the aux input on the drum set and connect my computer to that. Now the problem is that everything that goes into the aux will also go out of the module so I will be recording in a sort of a feedback loop. Now that is something that I don't want. But because I want to play with it less latency that I can do, please make it possible that we can separate the aux input from what is being sent out of the main output. Please give us an option that says aux to main out, aux to headphone, aux to both. If there is any way we could bypass the 200 megabytes of the module, please let us know or make it possible. There is a USB port on the back, so maybe we could utilize that. 
Hookah hard drive on it. I don't know. If it's possible, please tell us. Please make it possible if it's not possible. Also, please just tell us because then we could leave it alone. Yeah, otherwise we keep wondering and we want, you know, we want to go sky high with this thing. Now, when it comes to the software editor, we also have some questions. Jason Vela says, ability to use the strike editor without connecting to the module so you can create user kits and save to a SD card independent of the module which would seem like an obvious thing to do. So please make it possible. And we have one more, uh, which is from April Craze, resize the strike editor window. I have never used the strike editor myself, so I can't talk about this, but this is what we want. Hey, Alesis, I hope you, uh, you like what I did here with this little video. Everyone else who made this possible, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, consider subscribing. Tell your friends about this. The next upcoming tutorial I will do is about EQing your drum kit. So mostly EQing the snare uh, and EQing the cymbals to make them sound like a production quality that you have on any record out there. So keep an eye out for that, that's coming. And yeah, the next drum challenge is also happening. Um, Steph Lutu from France already has a new song and he is going to play the drums on it. And I'm Really curious about what he's going to do with it. Giving my song to someone else to play his thing on it is it's going to be my new jam. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, thank you guys. Uh, see you later, and uh, let's keep this uh, let's keep this going. Yeah, Alicia, thank you for making such a beautiful kid. Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks. Bye bye.